Welcome back. Robert Keston is executive director of Stonewall National Museum Archives and Library. Prior to that, he traveled the world promoting the integration of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. His eclectic career includes stints working on Ukrainian independence, human rights in Egypt and Tunisia, theater producing, a run for political office, and a nightclub act in Beverly Hills. Now, that is a span right there. We are very happy to have such a Renaissance man joining us. Robert, welcome to Liftoff. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Robert, it's obvious to me, and I'm sure many of our viewers, why this conversation is still so important in our society. But I'd love to hear from your perspective. Why is an organization like Stonewall so important today? Well, it's important because history is important. Culture is important. So an organization that collects, preserves, and shares history, even if it's of one large group, is vitally important so that we get a full perspective on what that means going forward. And tell us about Stonewall's education project and task force. It sounds fascinating. Well, the task force will have its first meeting the end of November in Washington, D.C., and the idea is very simple, that we've all believed that education was supposed to be the, the panacea through which we eliminated hate and prejudice. And clearly that's not the case. Uh, there's hate and prejudice e everywhere. And at moments it surges to unrecognizable uh, positions in our society. So if education didn't solve that problem, then what are the root causes that are preventing us from solving that problem? And how do we find those root causes so we don't just keep applying Band-Aids to an infection that continues to break through, causing harm, death, and fear and anger across the United States and around the world? So you must have so much information in the archives, but tell us a little bit about what you know are in Stonewall's archives relating to exactly everything you've talked about and what's going on today. Well, one example is we have a letter um, from Bob Dole where he crucifies President Clinton on thinking that LGBTQ people should be able to serve in the military. So that's one example. Then we have tremendous amounts of doc documents that chronicle the, the years of AIDS and HIV and how many extraordinarily talented people died. And that uniquely ties in to the amount of money that governments historically have invested in oppressing people, Blacks, women here in the United States, for example, rather than investing in those populations. Because just imagine, in all those years of slavery, 400 some odd years of slavery, all the years that women were considered property or second-class citizens, had we invested the same billions and billions of dollars that were used to repress, imagine where this country would be today. And that's the same kind of thing that we do on a smaller scale, looking at that oppression and negative funding that went into keeping LGBTQ people out of things rather than inviting them in to use the skills and talents that they have. That is a lot to consider, absolutely, and so critical and fascinating. Robert, thank you so much for sharing what you're doing at Stonewall and how we can just take an active role in using our history to define our future. Thank you so much for being on Lift Up. My pleasure, thank you. All right, everybody, we will be right back with some exciting new guests. <laughs> 